Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this lovely little baby card. I made this card using the um, stamp set Wildly Happy. I eventually got my own copy. My, last time I made a card like this, my, it was my sister's card. Uh, stamp set. So this one is mine. So that's what I've used and I'm using the elephant and Sweetest Baby on the inside. For the um, front, I'm going to change a little bit. I'm not going to put congratulations, that can go on the inside. I am going to put new baby, but I'm leaving so tiny, so small, so loved by all as well on it. And the new baby and the sentiment that's going inside has come from this hunky dory set. New baby, I've had it absolutely ages, as you can see I've used it. And the little poem is A tiny little button nose to tiny little feet A perfect little baby, what could be more sweet? Dressed in the cutest clothes from head to tiny toe Your baby is so wonderful, a joy to you and all you know. So that is what I'm going to stamp on the inside. Right. Now I'm going to do a pink one, a little girl card. The only problem is I've only got Blushing Bride pink card stock. But I've only the paper, I've only got petal pink. So I'm not going to add paper to this one. I am just going to put this one in the middle and add the bow at the top there. So to do this I am using, I have a white card base, my usual, of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half and burnish. I have a blushing bride piece at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have a white cardstock at five and five eighths, no, five and a half by three and three quarters. And I've also run it through the Stampin' Up basket weave embossing, 3D embossing folder. Been wanting this one for a while. So I have done that. And I've also got a piece of Blush and Bride at three and five eighths by two and a half, and then from the stitch so sweetly dies, I have cut a piece. Cut the third one, I think it is. It's three and a half by two and a quarter, and that was sitting there so nice. So this is what I hope to do. That I've already made the bow as the ribbon I've got is actually a very pale pink and I haven't got no blushing bright pink and the tails which I will I might just leave like that and sit that like that I think that'll look nice so let's do some stamping I want to do that I haven't got a piece for inside. Have now. Right, I'm going to stamp the elephant, which I never got out, in Smoky Slate. Now I'm doing this I'm going to colour it grey. Now I'll do it in black. Scrap that colour. I've got my memento black. Well, funny thing, I need to 
re-ink this memento. I don't have a re-inker. Just here at the side. So I need to put this in the middle so that I can fit new baby and that little um, saying on the inside. This new saying won't go on there. I am going to put in Blushing Bride. baby which I'm going to stamp just about there yeah like that that just needs colouring in which we'll do shortly Right, we're going to do these sentiments, so I don't want this one. Oh, I want my versifying for the writing. Now this stamp comes in two parts, so there's the first one. And put this on straight because I pulled it off. And there is the second one. Right, now I was going to put, I don't usually do this, I'm going to, because if I make a mistake I can always stick it, turn the card round and stick it on stick the inside on it. there. Sweetest baby. <coughs> right. I think that's all my stamping done. That just needs to go inside there, which I'll do straight away. doing then having a 
my senior moment by myself. extra glue on and place this with a nice border not very straight Stick this on the card. leads us to do is to colour in these elephants which I just did in Smoky Slate uh, which I think is this one yep oh and I used a bit of Blushing Bride round the inside of the rears And then just colour in the elephant like you would normally. tip of this smoky slates going You're all looking after yourselves in this hard times and looking out for your neighbours as well and for the elderly. We have got all young people around by us. We did have an old couple in, two doors up. But they sadly passed away last year. Well, the wife did. The husband's now in a nursing home.
There we are. Right, what I'm going to do is just do a darker bit where parts of his body, like where his belly or body meets his leg, and where this leg goes over his body and his trunk. Just go down the side of his trunk. Just so we know it's a shadow in his ears. You could go over it with a darker pen, but I just use the same. Same colour. Right, that's our elephant done. Elephants. That's the wrist, two of them. And that I am going to stick on here. I looked through all my papers and I have got no blushing bride paper. I couldn't believe it. Not even retired. Don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm not doing straights very well. So. And that we're going to put on dimensionals. Take the backings off. to make my mind up whether I want that like that no I don't want it like that but I'm going to put that there and what I'm going to do is cut my tail in half glue the end and have my tail hanging down and it will hang down like that and that will sit on like that that'd be nice yeah so let's glue my tail down I might just sit him up like that and then we'll glue this bow down this bow I made from a die I've had years It is, um, don't know what make it is. In fact, I bought it in the very first time I went to Peterborough. That's when I bought that bow. Also has a star-like cover you can put over the top of it. All right, now we need some gems. There's no gems on this one, which I'm going to sort out. got some faceted gems somewhere. We've got hearts. Yeah, I'm going to put one of them. One of them 
them. Yeah. And then I have also got, well, I think I I've got, them. I'll tell you, I keep saying this every time I do a video, I must sort my gems out. And I must. Now I have got a bag of different size faceted, faceted gems here. I'm going to pop two of these on. I'm going to put one. No. In fact, am I? No, I'm not. I quite like it just with the one on the bow. That's how I like my card to be today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.